Good morning, students. Welcome to the RPS Ripaka School online classes for science. Today, we will discuss the question answers of chapter crop production given in the back exercise. Let's start with checkpoint one. Answer in one word. What are crops grown in winter known as? They are known as rubby crops. What is cultivation of plants for food called? Farming. What are tea, coffee, cocoa, rubber crops called? They are called plantation crops. What is another term for plowing the soil used as? It is tilling. Checkpoint 2. Write true and false. Urea replenishes nitrogen content of soil. The answer is true. Drip irrigation is used to irrigate sandy soil and uneven land. False. Chemicals used to destroy the weeds are called pesticides. False. The answer is weedicides. Water logging or standing water in fields is good for crops. False. Manure provides humus to the soil. The answer is true. Checkpoint 3. Fill in the blanks. A combine is used both as a harvester and a thresher. The process of separating hay and chaff from grains is called winnowing. The period between 1960 to 1980 is known as Green Revolution in Indian agriculture. Silos are cylindrical containers for bulk storage of grains. And fifth one is culturing fishes in ponds and pools is called pisciculture. Let's discuss the MCQs. Which of the following is not an example of Kharif crop? The answer is wheat. Nitrogen deficiency of soil can be removed by applying urea. The process of separating grains from husk from the harvested crop is called threshing. The pioneer green revolution of India is Dr. M.S. Swaminathan. The common weedicides are all of these. The insects used to remove prickly pear from the crop field is cochineal insect. These are the answers. Let's move to another section that is rewrite the wrong sentences by substituting the wrong word with the correct one. Beans, peas and green gram are examples of cereals. Here, the word cereals is wrong. The answer is pulses. Second, growing fruits and vegetables is called agriculture. No, it is called as horticulture. Milk contains all vitamins except vitamin D. Here, vitamin D has to be substituted with vitamin C. Broadcasting is leaving the field vacant for one or more seasons to regain its fertility. Here, broadcasting word is wrong. The answer is fallowing. Furrow irrigation is used in areas where there is water shortage. Here, the word furrow is substituted by the word drip irrigation. Very short answer type questions. Name two steps involved in the preparation of soil before plantation. The two steps involved are plowing and leveling. Name some oilseed and plantation crops. The examples of oilseeds are 
mustard, groundnut, sunflower, soya bean, and coconut. The examples of plantation crops are tea, coffee, cocoa, and rubber. What is the use of cultivator? Cultivator is used for plowing a field by using a tractor. What is the benefit of transplantation? By transplantation, only healthy seedlings are planted with sufficient spacing between them. This increases crop production. Why is drip irrigation the best method of watering the plants? Drip irrigation provides water drop by drop near the roots of the plants. In this way, water is not wasted at all and plants get regular supply of water. What are silos? Silos are cylindrical containers for storing the grains. Short answer type questions. What are the advantages of sowing seeds by using a seed drill? By using a seed drill, seeds are sown uniformly in the furrows only. This prevents the wastage of the seeds and saves time and labor. What is the need for manuring? Manuring is done to regain the fertility of the soil. It also improves soil texture and helps it retain moisture. What are the advantages of using fertilizers? Fertilizers are easily absorbed and utilized immediately by the plants. They provide specific nutrients to the crop. What are the traditional methods of irrigation? The traditional methods of irrigation are moat, rahat, dhekli, chain pump, and swinging baskets. How was the Green Revolution achieved? During Green Revolution, new varieties of wheat were developed by cross-breeding methods using high-yielding dog varieties of wheat from Mexico and Australia. Let's discuss long answer type questions. How are unhealthy seeds separated from healthy seeds? The unhealthy seeds are separated from healthy seeds by soaking them in water. The healthier seeds settle down at the bottom and unhealthy seeds being hollow and lighter as they are eaten by pests floats on the surface of water. Describe the different methods of sowing seeds. The various methods of sowing seeds are manual or broadcasting method, which involves scattering of seeds by hand. The scattered seeds are later covered with soil. In mechanical methods, includes sowing seeds with seed drill. It makes furrows in the soil and allows the seeds to fall at regular distances in the furrows. Give differences between manures and fertilizers. The various differences between manures and fertilizers. In manures, manures are organic substances, whereas fertilizers are synthetic chemical compounds. Manures are obtained from the decomposition of animal waste and plant residues by the action of microorganisms. Fertilizers are manufactured in factories from different chemicals. Manure provides all the nutrients but are not very rich in nutrients. Fertilizers make the soil nutrient specific and are rich in nutrients. Manure provides humus to soil. Fertilizers do not provide humus. Manures replenish soil fertility, restore soil texture and make the soil porous. Fertilizers restore fertility of soil but spoil soil texture on soil chemistry. Manures do not cause pollution. Fertilizers cause water and soil pollution. 
Manures are not readily soluble in water, hence absorbed by plants slowly. But fertilizers are readily soluble in water, hence absorbed by the plants quickly. Why is the use of fertilizers in excess disadvantageous? Use of fertilizers in excess is disadvantageous because damage, it damages the crop and pollutes the soil as well as nearby water bodies on washing by rainwater. What is farmyard manure? Manure made from farm waste such as cattle dung and urine, straw, leaves, etc. is called farmyard manure. What are the modern methods of irrigation? How are they useful? Modern methods of irrigation are furrow irrigation. In this method, water run into the field through furrows between two rows of the crop. Basin irrigation. In this method, the entire field is made over flooded with water. Sprinkler irrigation. In this method, perpendicular pipes are laid at regular intervals in the field. They are joined to the main pipeline and have rotating nozzles at the top end. The water through rotating nozzles gets sprinkled over the crop plants. Drip irrigation. In this method, water is provided to the plants drop by drop near their roots. What are the modern methods of irrigation? How are they useful? The advantages of using modern methods of irrigation are modern methods of irrigation avoid wastage of water and help in water conservation. These methods prevent loss of water by evaporation and these methods ensure equal distribution of water to different parts of the field, especially where land is uneven. What is weeding? What are the different methods of weeding? The removal of unwanted plants growing naturally with crop plants without harming them is called weeding. Different methods of weeding are manual method. In this method, weeds are uprooted by hand. In mechanical method, weeds are removed by using different agricultural implements such as harrow, trowel, hoe, etc. Chemical method. Weeds are removed by spraying weedicides such as 2,4-D, MCPA, butachlor, and paracoy on the crop plants. In biological methods, some natural enemies of weeds are released in the crop field which feed on weeds and destroy them. Briefly describe the methods used for restoring soil fertility. Methods used for restoring soil fertility are fallowing. The crop field is left without being sown till the next crop season after harvesting one crop. In this way, the fallow land regains nutrients from decomposed remains of plant and animals. Adding manures and fertilizers. Manures and fertilizers are added to soil before sowing the seeds or transplanting the seeds. Another method is crop rotation. Different types of crops are grown in different seasons on the same land on rotational basis. Mixed cropping. Two or more types of crops are grown in the same field at the same time. How are grains stored? On the domestic level, grains are stored in small metallic containers mixing with powdered neem leaves and black pepper. On commercial level, seeds are stored in gunny bags, in silos and granaries. The stored area is sprayed regularly with chemicals to kill or repel pests without affecting the stored grains. What is animal husbandry? How is it useful to us? Rearing animals on a large scale for obtaining various food products is called animal husbandry. It provides us with meat, eggs, honey, and milk. Let's discuss horse cushions. Farmers often irrigate the crop field before sowing the seeds. Is it important to do so? If yes, state the reason. It is important to irrigate the crop field before sowing the seeds because seeds germinate in the presence of moisture.
what will happen if distance and depth are not maintained at the time of sowing seeds? If the distance and depth are not maintained at the time of sowing of seeds, the seeds will not get sufficient amount of water and oxygen and after germination they will not be able to get sufficient amount of light and air to grow well. Crop rotation enriches the soil. Do you agree with this? Justify your answer with valid reason. Crop rotation enriches the soil as nutrients used by one crop are replenished by another crop growing on the same land. For example, after growing wheat crop, growing a leguminous crop can replenish the nitrogen content of the soil by its nitrogen fixing bacterium called rhizobium, which lives in the roots nodules. With this, we end up this module. All the question answers given in the back exercises of chapter crop production is completed. Take care of yourselves, students. Goodbye.